Well, hello there, welcome to the channel where I, your host, will answer the world's most important questions. I will give you the most sophisticated answers to the questions which everybody is asking and nobody knows the answer for. You are very welcome. Stay tuned and I will give you an answer for the question which is important today for me and for you. And the question is, why are there ribbons on a lady's knickers? This is the question today. <laughs> I want to know the answer and I want to give you the answer and we are going to find out together. Because why are there ribbons or bows on a lady's knickers but not on a man's knickers? Why are they on every single knickers? Why are they on girls' knickers? Why are they on the ladies' like sexy type of knickers? Why, why are they both? They used to be both on the brass before. This trend kind of stopped, but the knickers are still there, or underwear, or pants. It's still there. They are still there, and I want to know why. So. I have my very important tool which everybody must probably know and I am gonna use the Google to help me figure it out. Let's open up the Google and we are gonna start and googling why are there ribbons on a lady's knickers. So let's put it in. Why are there ribbons on knickers? Why do so many panties have the little bow on the center front? Why is there frequently a little bow tie on a wo woman's lin 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 lo lounge line you wore? Um, I am not the only one who was trying to figure it out. So let's look at it. I'm not sure if the Reddit will open up. So why are they there? Now, because it's cute, it's feminine, it evokes innocence and it makes it really easy to tell which side is front when dressing hustle in the dark. And feminine and innocent, I don't want to feel innocent sometimes. I don't think I want to send a wipe that I am an innocent little girl. I don't think that's appropriate. I don't think my partner would like it. I don't think many partners would like it. So I don't really like this answer. Um, I am a present. The bow is there to distract from the fact I haven't shaved in days, weeks, months. All right. I think, don't know how big bows does this alizarin Q have, but it might be a pretty big bow to cover months of not shaving hmm let's see another one because if your clothes are ripped off in an accident you want to be seen wearing cute and adorable or sexy panties um i'm gonna skip the reddit i'm gonna go on to quora let's see what the other people can tell us so, really most panties do not have bows. I would disagree with that. I think all of my panties which I have do have a bows. And I have all sorts of different panties. I have like a granny panties, I have comfortable panties, and I have slightly more exotic or, you know, other panties. And they all have a bows. The panties you see in Victoria's Secret with ruffle and bows aren't made to wear every day. They are for special occasions when intimacy is on the agenda. Also, should I not be wearing my panties anymore? The cute bows make a lump under clothing and ruin the line of dresses and jeans. They aren't usually worn daily for one thing. They are quite expensive. Um, okay, I don't really like this one. Uh, there is frequently a little bow tie on a woman's and where it's cute, symmetrical, feminine, it evokes innocence and makes it really easy to wear. It gives uniqueness to do underwear having bow ribbon ties on them. The little bow is where you tie the ribbon 
and of course it's in front because that's the easiest place to do. It's flattering and feminine to how we bow. Okay, as for the roots of tradition, it comes from pre-elastic days when you under things were held in place by a bit of ribbon threaded through the I alert lace over top. This is not a good word choosing for somebody who is not a native English speaker. Please use some normal words because I'm really killing myself here. The little bow is where you tied that ribbon and of course it's the front because that's the easiest place to do something. But I mean, oh, okay, let's keep those underwear pictures because that's probably age inappropriate. But why? I don't understand why. It's so random and it's so unnecessary and it's such a waste of material and I'm really sure if every single woman in the world would cut all the bows from her underwear off and we would put them all together it would be so much material they would be probably able to make a, a lot of new panties or some other things in the world so I don't really understand but here we have some uh, interesting historical article so let's see while this has been a tradition women have become accustomed to it got me to thinking as to why panties have bows on them at the first place exactly what i'm thinking it was assumed by many that having a boat on the front of your panties was used to help women get dressed in dark back in days of no electricity and needing to get up early to manage the household Yes, but how do men figure it out what's the front and what's the back? I mean, they were probably dressing up in dark as well and they don't have a pose. But the same question was asked on the recent Reddit thread and one of the response sparkled a curiosity theory as to how to woe really came out. Now, because it's cute for la 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 la, as for the roots of tradition, oh, that's the one which I read. Not to be left out, men during the Middle Ages once had bows on their undergarments to keep them from falling off. History Extra goes to the further explain a woman having a boat on her undergarments in the Middle Ages was seen a hussy who sleeps around more than the public expected her to. Oh, okay. Which it's probably safe to assume back in those days women were only allowed to sleep with men if she intended on getting knocked up. Okay, interesting. So what now? Are, are we all hussy or... Obviously, times have changed since the Middle Ages, where it's present days, men would... As for the inferred meaning that women only have a bow on their panties because they might sleep around a lot, I'll stick with the excuse the bow is to help the ladies get dressed in the dark when coffee hasn't quite set in. Um, okay, uh, that is really interesting. And I think this is it with the search. We get to the end of my searching because there isn't any history thing about why is there a ribbon and there are no facts and no historical uh, background which we can say for 100% that that's why they have ribbons. I don't understand why men cannot have a ribbon on their underwear if this is a simple thing that it will help you to figure it out what's the front, what's the back, what's upside down, where the ribbon is, then why they don't have something which can help them to dress up. If this is the historical fact that the only women with the ribbons were sleeping around a lot, then I mean quite shaming a women or what is it? Is it the cuteness? I don't want to be seen as cute when somebody sees my underwear. Usually, you know, my underwear is seen by my doctors or by my boyfriend and none of those two categories I want them to think about me that I am cute or anything. Uh, with my doctors, I don't want them to think about anything about me. With my partner, I definitely don't want him to think that I'm cute and innocent because that would probably mean that something is wrong. Something is very, very wrong. Anyways, I didn't answer my question. <laughs> I didn't find a proper answer. Do you have the answer to my question? Because I'm thinking about it for years and years and not even Google is able to help me. 
I don't know what to do. I hit the rock bottom and I don't know where to move from this side because when Google cannot help you, that's it. There is no help in the world. So I think that will be the end of my video. This uh, problem is not solved, but I gave you the most sophisticated answers which I could possibly find. I don't have an answer myself because I wouldn't be asking that question if I would knew the answer. Thank you for watching. Like the video, subscribe to my channel. I will be asking more questions like that. Don't you worry. I have a list of questions which I need to find the answers and I will take you along with me because I like you and I think you deserve that and I think you want to see it and I think you want to come with me. If you don't, you do, you just don't know about it yet. So I just told you and you know now. So you can stay on my channel, subscribe, hit that uh, bell something so you know when I upload a new video and you will learn more answers or at least you will learn how am I trying to find the answers to my questions which I am asking myself and others every single day and they cannot give me the answer. I am not making any sense in this video, but I don't give a thing about it. So thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me. I will see you next week. Stay tuned. I have more content coming at you and I will see you shortly. Bye.